and welcome to Ozarks Live. Ooh, look at all the scenery there and everything. And What's up? There's Joy. Thanks Hi for there. joining us today. Yeah, good to Are have you, you here for sure. Yeah. Joy finally gets to relax. Come out here, you do a show, and you think it's going to be. This is the relaxed part for. This for is her. the relaxed me. It really is. Oh, I got to sit. No, it's not. It's. It's not all about me. It's been a technically challenging day. Oh, I know, We're going to put it that way. But you're the ones that people are seeing right now. And it's like you had some sort of aura around you today where things you were working on, as with other people, were going, nah, we're not going to let you do this. <laughs> it's a thing you've done for years. No, we're done, yeah. done no, with you right not now. not going to do it. Uh, you know, we, <laughs> no, it's just been, it's one of those days, and I know you all know how we feel when technology doesn't really go our way. Yeah. And we do the best we can, and we talk real nice to it to try to make it work. And then all of a sudden, other things come out of our mouths that are not nice, and we try to be civil and not upset the apple cart any more than it's yeah. already upset. But it's okay. It, sometimes it's like having your own Terminator. Yeah. And, because no matter what you do, it just keeps coming at you. No, I will happy. not allow this, and it just yeah. Well, one thing that we're, we're doing today that we haven't done in a while, which I'm really super excited about, is another crock pot recipe. You know, yeah. we've got the crock pot craze thing happening, and we've asked some of you for your recipes, and you've been gracious to help us out. Mm -hmm. uh, Producer Shelby found one today. Yes. And it's, uh, I'm just going to say what it is, because that might make sure, some go of ahead. you go, oh, I have to see this. It's a creamy buffalo chicken. You have to those, see this. Those yes. words are, and, and it's it's very, very few ingredients mm -hmm. to make something big. And Which can, are the best kind. Yeah, it can be used me, as anyway. a, um, like a dip, an appetizer, right. or as a main course with just what I'm telling you. Yeah. It's great. So anyway, we got that done. So and that's it, good. The smell in the mm -hmm. studio is just really nice. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's it a little smells hot like a, sauce smell, uh -huh. and yeah, it's very buffalo wingy in there. Yeah. So anyway, we got that. Um, Janet is here from Krispy Kreme. So what on earth am I complaining about? Well, you just have to unwind just a little bit, and you'll be fine. I figure yeah. four o'clock you'll be hitting on all eight cylinders. Uh, I'm sure I will be by then. You know, <laughs> load me up with donuts and buffalo chicken, and I'm oh, back. I'm Set me saying, back on my feet again. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good stuff. All right, we have a great show for you this afternoon. Not only what we've already talked about, mm -hmm. but more behind the scenes of Disney's The Lion King. Yeah. I know, this is really good stuff. This yeah. It's going to be good. And as we said, we've got another recipe coming up for you, so you don't, you don't want to miss that. Yeah. <laughs> but before we get to all that, here's what's on the radar. All right, I've got something to tell you about that I could actually use right now. Remember <laughs> yesterday I told you about Natural Light's Natter Day strawberry lemonade yeah, beer? Yes, I do. Haven't found any yet, but I'm going to. Okay. Um, I got another beer trend for you. Have you heard of wellness beers? No, yeah. I, I have not. Wellness beers. Who knew? Okay, they're a thing. People who work out want post-exercise hydration, and brewers are listening in a big way. You ready for this? Okay. Okay, case in point. Here is one from a brewery called Zealous. It is brewed with nutrient-rich ingredients and even electrolytes. This beer is, uh, it's an apricot pale ale, uh -huh. which sounds good, called Long Run. Now, Zealous also makes, they have crafty little names here, yeah. Light Speed, Race <laughs> Pace, and Competitor, among others, all with lower alcohol content. Okay. So you reward yourself with these. Here's another one from Harpoon. It is called... Rec League. Doesn't that look like something out of 70s? It like really PE does. Class. I love the can. Uh huh. Um, or it's it is, made by someone with anime. Yeah, no kidding, right? It's billed as the cool down companion. It is brewed with nutrients like buckwheat, kasha, and ground chia seeds, whatever oh. that is. I, I'm familiar with chia seeds, but yeah, yeah. Um, it's light, it's citrusy, and again, the label. Rocks. That is cool. It's super cute. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, finally, here is one from a female founded brewery called Sufferfest. <laughs> I love the name. They suffer yeah. and then they earn their beer. They say they will sweat for beer. Okay. I get it. Caitlin Lansbury launched this company back in 2016. This particular beer, the Repeat Kolsch, is brewed with bee pollen, oh. which is thought to have anti inflammatory yeah. properties for all for of years. you do gooders, overachievers who run, and things such as that. So there you have it beer as a wellness and recovery drink. It's happening <laughs> at breweries all around the country. <laughs> yeah. No, I just like the way you, all you do-gooders, you yeah. overachievers that run. I like that. Yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm not with one you. of those. I walk all day. I'm do just I know not, you do. Not, I'm oh, not much of a runner. She walks very fast, too. I do. 
some days you have to walk faster than other days. Yeah, this I is know. why I get to sit. Yes. Finally. Relax. Sit and relax. Everything's okay. Just don't have yes. any beer to enjoy, but you go ahead. Tell me something I don't know. I, okay. It looks as though we are in a season of the old is new again. You know, recently we spoke about 90210 and Sandlot coming back oh, yeah? to television. Back. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a rumor for a while, but now it looks as though the Buckmans, Paul Reiser and Helen Hunt, will be together again in a reboot of their 90s series, Mad About You. I love it. Yes, it's found a new home on Spectrum Originals, which is a subscription service with uh, Charter Communications that launches this year. Helen Hunt is slated to direct the first episode. Danny Jacobson, who co-created the show with Paul Reiser, will serve as executive consultant. Originally about the marriage between a documentary filmmaker, that was Paul Reiser, and a PR specialist, Helen Hunt, Mad About You will now focus on modern marriage through the eyes of two people who have just become empty nesters. Wow. Yep. According to a statement released by Reiser and Hunt, we promise you the same funny and heartwarming show as soon as we can remember what's funny <laughs> about being older. <laughs> the Revival's oh. launch is slated for late this year. You know what's funny about that? I'm, oh. I'm kind of excited about this, honestly, because I remember my husband and I watching Mad About You all those years ago, and we are just a few years from being empty nesters yeah. ourselves. Yeah. So if we can remember what's funny about aging, Helen Hunt and Paul Reiser and the other person who's working on this call me up and I'll give you some ideas. <laughs> yeah, some days, yeah. Oh my goodness, that's gonna hit at exactly the right time. Right about the same time. This is for gonna you. be good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it was it was good before. It was a very oh, yeah, funny it was a, show. It was a great and what was it? Yeah. Murray the dog? Uh, People was it Murray, loved maybe? I think it was Murray. People loved that dog. This is gonna be interesting for those of us who remember it. Uh huh. That well to see what they've done now that they've, you know. A lot of big stars made uh -huh, appearances uh -huh. on that show. Yeah, this is going to be good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got something for you. This is interesting. What happens when luxury automaker BMW collaborates with an outdoor company like the North Face? Okay. New seat covers. Well, a little more than that. It oh. almost, almost makes me want to go camping. Not quite. Well, this is going to be big. But almost. Look at this. Oh. This is a concept trailer that is the brainchild of BMW Design Works and the famous outdoor gear brand, North Face, okay? It's a futuristic off-road ready camping trailer. Almost looks like a modern day sort of outdoorsy Cinderella yeah. would emerge and a this coach. would turn back into a pumpkin or something yeah. at the stroke of midnight. I think this is too cool. This was unveiled at the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas that we were not at. Uh -huh. um, and it offers room to sleep to lounge on a small sort of sofa-like space. There's a shelf. The tires on this thing are airless. Uh-huh. So you don't have to worry about that. The problem with this is it is merely a concept. But I think that's <sighs> super cool. Like I said, you know, I don't know that I want to drag it way clear out into the backwoods, but... Um, Backyard is fine. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Tote that sucker. I get it. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I get it. And I, I know really cool. at Consumer Electronics and the auto shows and all, they always bring out these concept, uh -huh. concept mm -hmm. things, and then you, you salivate over it, uh, and it doesn't come out for years. Yeah, you're like, you made one. It's not like I'm going to go run out and buy a, a Beamer trailer right away. Or no, anything. but I just thought that was really neat. So like I it said, is. it almost makes me want to go camping. I wonder what the cost of that is going to be. I don't do Because you might be able to buy a bus a instead. You know what? If you pay for that, they'd probably make them. They'd whip those out oh, like sure. there's nobody's business. But sure, I thought sure, it was sure. an interesting collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, and it looked nice and tidy and fun. And it looks cool. But it looks cool. It probably it hasn't cool, been camping yet. I don't. Probably not. It's been on a photo shoot. It's a photo op yes. thing. But yeah, it looks yeah. really good. So guys, get at it. But we could find out a lot it. more if we were able to go to the Consumer Electronics Show. Next year. Right? Don't you trust us to tell you what's the latest and greatest in all things? Oh, my gosh. we got to go to that next year. It's going to be good. <laughs> Leo said it's okay. Oh, good. Maybe. I was wanting to hear about yeah. that. Coming up, checking out the magnificent costumes of the Lion King. They're amazing. Don't go away. Ozarks Live is just getting started.